Individual Rights Defense Program, managing the several hundred requests for assistance that FIRE receives from students and faculty each year. Peter also writes frequently for FIRE's blog, The Torch, and has lectured to student groups and at student conferences around the country. He earned his undergraduate degrees in theater arts and economics from the University of Pennsylvania. The mission of FIRE is to defend and sustain individual rights at America's colleges and universities. These rights include freedom of speech, legal equality, due process, religious liberty, and sanctity of conscience, the essential qualities of individual liberty and dignity. FIRE's core mission is to protect the unprotected and to educate the public and communities of concerned Americans about the threats to these rights on our campuses and about the means to preserve them. Everyone, please join me in welcoming Peter Vanilla. this? All right. Okay. Can, can people hear me well enough? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, well, thank you for that introduction, and uh, thank you very much to the organizers for inviting FIRE to participate here today. Uh, my remarks today will, uh, will be pretty brief. Um, as uh, the person who introduced me uh, uh, mentioned, uh, FIRE's mission is to defend uh, core individual rights, including the freedom of speech, uh, at college and university campuses across the country. Uh, I'll give a, a little bit more information on FIRE uh, and the work that we do. Uh, FIRE was founded in 1999, um, and in our going on 14 or 15 years uh, that we have been in business, uh, we have uh, successfully defended the rights of several hundred um, college students, college faculty, and college student organizations uh, whose rights have been violated on their campuses. Um, another uh, large part of FIRE's mission uh, involves educating the public about issues of freedom of speech. Um, we publish a series of guides that we distribute free of charge to students and faculty around the country on uh, various issues regarding free speech on campus and, uh, and other core individual rights in the college community. Um, we work on policy reform campaigns. We help uh, to reform um, wayward university policies that are overly restrictive uh, of free speech and First Amendment rights on campuses. Uh, and our efforts in that area have led to uh, the reform of dozens of unconstitutional uh, college speech codes um, on campuses with total enrollments uh, into the millions. Um, so there is a, there, there a, a two-part aspect to FIRE's work. Uh, both um, as, as she said earlier, protecting the unprotected, defending the rights of, of those uh, whose rights are being violated on their campuses, uh, as well as educating the public, uh, educating students, educating faculty, educating university administrators, uh, and educating the public at large um, about the importance of free speech on campus. Um, another, uh, another thing to, to, to make clear about FIRE and our work is that we are a thoroughly uh, entirely 100% nonpartisan organization. Um, we don't uh, we don't have um, for any position on any of the of the political issues that uh, that you'll hear the other speakers discuss here today. Um, that isn't what Fire does. Fire's mission is to uh, defend the right of, of anyone, regardless of viewpoint, regardless of politics, to to make sure that their free speech rights are are protected and are defended by their universities. Um, now, a couple of uh, Getting a little buffeted back here. Uh, no, no, I, I, I think we'll, I think we'll be okay. I think, I think we're good. Um, some other, some other things to, uh, um, to note is that um, while it, it, it is unfortunate that um, that the students organizing the conference here today, uh, the one going on across the street, uh, didn't feel. Um, for whatever reason, that uh, that the campus environment was was such that Mr. Modi could participate here, um, it's unfortunate that, that happened. But it's also important to remember that um, the right of the right of freedom of speech 
involves, uh, you know, it, it pr protects the right of the petitioners to protest against someone's appearance. Um, but, pardon me, um, if there's something that I can draw on FIRE's wider experience for um, when it comes to this event here today, it's that one thing FIRE has seen very often, and a, a cultural mindset that FIRE has been working now for almost 15 years uh, to combat and to change and to educate against, um, is, uh, is the idea that um, there is such a thing as a right not to be offended in the college community, um, and that and that people who are offended by certain viewpoints, who are offended by certain political ideas, certain political viewpoints, um, that some think some views are so odious that their speakers cannot be permitted in the college community. This is something that FIRE has worked very hard to fight over the years. Um, and it's that kind of, that kind of mindset, uh, we have a term for it at FIRE, we call it unlearning liberty. Uh, our president uh, recently just published a book uh, with that title, Unlearning Liberty, uh, Campus Censorship and the End of American Debate. Uh, and it's about this, this phenomenon uh, that, uh, that, we, that we've seen here and that we've seen at lots of colleges all around the country. Um, that that many, uh, the many in the college community are so poorly educated on, on issues of freedom of speech and what the First Amendment protects and doesn't protect. Um, that many take, the, take it on themselves to, uh, to prevent views that they don't like from being expressed. And we've seen this, we've seen this in a lot of different ways at FIRE over the years. Um, we've seen it through, uh, through unconstitutional speech policies, um, which have very often had the effect of, uh, of punishing students or faculty simply for saying uh, something or voicing an opinion that offended another in the college community. Um, We've seen it uh, with the destruction of student group displays or student activities um, because, uh, because other students disagreed with the viewpoints being expressed and took it on themselves to uh, not to speak against uh, and not to exercise their, their own free speech rights um, against the views that they disagree with, but to instead suppress and destroy or vandalize um, the work of those who are exercising their free speech rights. Um, We've seen it. Uh, we've we've seen it in cases where uh, college newspapers are are stolen by the hundreds or even the thousands um, because they might contain um, uh, a controversial editorial cartoon or an editorial uh, expressing an unpopular or divisive viewpoint in the campus community. Um, we've seen it as well. Um, we have seen it as well um, in situations where a certain speaker is invited to campus and rather than uh, rather than allow him, uh, allow the, the speaker to voice their opinions and allow um, their fellow community members the right, to, the right to hear the opinions that they came to hear, um, disruptive protesters will instead shout down and drown out the voice of the speaker so that his message can't be heard, so that it can't be delivered, so that people cannot hear um, the speech, the viewpoints, the ideas that they have come to hear. Um, and these are, whoa. and these are all, like I said, part part of a dangerous phenomenon in higher education that fire calls on learning liberty, and that we have. In, ter in terms of the present situation, I've I've said mo most of what I came to say, um, and but but go going on. Um, and to, to, to start to, to wrap up my remarks, um, piling onto um, and kind of extending the point that, uh, that the previous speaker made is that, that the answer to, uh, to offensive speech or controversial speech um, is not censorship, it's engagement. Um, one thing that FIRE has advocated throughout the years on hundreds and hundreds of college campuses um, and in, in books on uh, radio and television interviews and media articles uh, is that the answer to speech that we think is offensive or speech that we think is bad is not less speech. The answer is never less speech. The answer is more, better speech. Um, more, better speech is kind of... 
more, more better speech. If I had to deliver, uh, you know, if I had to sum up the, uh, the entirety of the speech in three words, I probably would use more better speech. Um, the answer is never, the answer is never to take away the free speech rights of those we disagree with. It's to engage them, and if their, spe and if their views really are so terrible, if they are really so wrong, then let them out into the marketplace of ideas and let them lose on their own merits and let your arguments win on their own merits. And um, with, that, with that being said, I want to, again, thank the organizers, again, for, uh, for, for doing just what I've said. Um, more speech and not less. Uh, and for, uh, you, and for uh, inviting us to, to take part and to, to give our message of uh, the importance of free speech uh, on college campuses. Um, thank you all very much. Let's all, give, let's all give a big hand to Peter. Thank you so much for being with us here today.